former NFL GM Mike Tannenbaum yesterday said something uh, that that if J.J. McCarthy was the starting quarterback at LSU this past year, he would have put up he would have put up Jaden Daniels type numbers. And if Jaden Daniels was the starting quarterback at Michigan, he would have put up J.J. McCarthy numbers there. Look. Just for the Michigan connection, I hope J.J. McCarthy has the greatest career of any professional quarterback. I really hope he does well, and I think he can do well in the NFL. But that statement seems ludicrous to me if you watched every single throw J.J. McCarthy made the past three years like I have. Yeah, and and he, Mike Tannenbaum's a guy that, that we know we have a lot of respect for. He's, he's been in the league a, lot, a long time. I know he knows what he's talking about. I feel like he, he should have been more specific in, in what he meant. If you're talking about the system, that J.J. McCarthy was in at, at Michigan is not as conducive to put up those big tight numbers mm-hmm. that Jane Daniels had. And when you look at the team makeup, J.J. McCarthy didn't have to be Superman with that run game and, and the defense that, that Michigan played. I can understand that. But if you're comparing the style or archetype of J.J. McCarthy and Jane Daniels, that, that's just a bad comparison. Yeah. Not that that J.J. McCarthy's a bad player or that Jaden Daniels is is the greatest player of all time, but J.J. McCarthy cannot do the things with his legs that Jaden Daniels could do. Uh, I think Jaden Daniels, in my opinion, was a more consistent passer, and you knew that Jaden Daniels had to go out there and play that well because LSU couldn't stop a nosebleed in a nurse's office yeah. on defense. Mm-hmm. That was it's like Jonah Hill from Superbad with the dice on the dance floor. That's the only move they had. Was Jaden Daniels going out there and freaking out with the rest of the aliens like Brian Thomas Jr. and Malik Neighbors and guys that, that they had? So if the argument is the system wasn't as conducive for huge numbers or Heisman winning numbers like Jaden Daniels put up, I can understand yes. that argument. But if if the the comparison is archetype and skill set, I, I think that's apples and oranges. Yes. I think it's a bad comparison. I think you should have been more specific about the system. Or another thing that could have been favorable is to compare Jaden Daniels year three to JJ McCarthy's year three when Jaden Daniels was still at Arizona yeah. State. I mean, then you could say, hey, look at where they both were when they were the same age. Keep in mind, Jaden Daniels was just had his fifth year in college. That would have been a more comparable comparison to me. I don't see any way JJ McCarthy was going to rush for 1,100 yards and throw. He, for well, he's not. Yards. He's not. You know, maybe the 40 touchdowns part. No, but. and that's just, uh, to be honest, that's just a ridiculous statement. I don't even know how you get to that conclusion, honestly. Just the way these two guys play, they're not even close to the same. But all this smoke surrounding J.J. McCarthy, I don't know, did this come from the combine? Like, he's jumped is, 20 is this- picks, and now he's sitting projected from 10 to go to 10 to 12 in the first round. Well, I don't know what has happened. Okay, guys, and I think J.J. McCarthy is going to be a good It happens every year. NFL. I agree with that. It no, happens I, it every does. year. It, 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 it happens every people, single why? year. But, but why? People, the media talks someone up every year for them to get to yeah. be sitting at the table late. This, it's, <laughs> again, and, and we've talked about this, I feel like, every year before the NFL draft. It happens every year with a quarterback. And this isn't to say J.J. McCarthy isn't going to be a really good player. Yes. I just think developmentally, he's a lot further away than some of the other quarterbacks in this class. That's why we talked about, should he come out this year? Should he wait another year? I think he made the the decision of, hey, my name is hot. Obviously, it's working out. People are talking about him going top five now. But but every year, when you have, you can have all these geniuses, right? These guys that are very football smart, sit around in a room, and if they talk long enough, they're going to convince themselves of something that is not real. It's called getting too cute. We see this in every single aspect of life. Sometimes just keeping it simple, stupid, is the best answer. Not Again, not that J.J. isn't going to be a good player, but I'm not taking J.J. McCarthy ahead of Drake May. I'm not taking him ahead of Jaden Daniels. I'm not taking him ahead of a, a lot of guys right now on the board. So I feel like we see this every single year. You can go back and look at the NFL draft, and it's like Leo DiCaprio. You know, pointing on the from the departed, point pointing from the chair, like it just. And if you're the Broncos, I mean, 
I'm taking you're Bo asking Nicks this before guy JJ to come, If you draft him, you're asking this guy to come in and play. Yeah, especially after what CJ Stroud. That's what. You, that's what you that's do. why I feel like it's and a for better, Sean Payton, like, that's a disaster. I feel like the Vikings is still a better situation. Sit behind Kirk Cousins for a season. Don't they or sign two. him back? Or even, or even, or even the uh, even the Jets, like a situation like if Aaron Rodgers is healthy this year and can give you another year or two. Yeah, like that would be more well, favorable. To well, me. I agree. How many GMs right now are going to treat this like an admirable uh, Admiral Akbar situation? You know, it's a trap. Right? We, we saw Kevin Costner do this in draft day. Maybe a lot of guys are gassing this guy up so somebody will take a pick early and a quarterback will fall to somebody else. There's so much 4D chess that goes on. But when Mike Tannenbaum says that about J.J. McCarthy and Jane Daniels, Mike Tannenbaum's out of it. So like Mike Tannenbaum isn't helping anybody draft anyone. So, so to me, that, that was kind of a reach. But if you're a GM right now, Maybe you are making a phone call. Hey, you heard about this J.J. McCarthy? He's killing it in the meeting room. I mean, he's a great guy. He's painting a white picket fence outside of a house in the suburbs the other day next to Beaver Cleaver and Aunt Marge and everybody. So uh, we see it every year. It just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm looking around, and when you turn on the tape, J.J. McCarthy, you know, it'll make you say wow, and it'll make you say ow. But, but from, a, again, a consistency standpoint, I know I feel like I've used that word 30 times already. It's not even 7 o'clock this morning. I just feel like he's not at the level of some of these other guys. Isn't J.J. McCarthy really just a year or two away from being Bo Nix? I mean, if, when you really look at it, the guys have similar similar skill sets. If we're going to make any sort of comp, you know, I don't think he's Drake May. I think so. I think Drake May's falling, and somebody's going to get an absolute steal with Drake May. I'm just telling you right now. I've watched that guy enough. I know a nuanced thrower when I see it, and I know a guy that's that's you know got something about him. Not that J.J. doesn't, but I don't know, man. We do this every year. We do this razzle-dazzle them, the song and dance. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, hey, YouTube, what's up? Hit that subscribe button or I'm going to cut Blaine's head off. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, hit subscribe.